Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome to the second of my Technic Tech 8 tutorials, whatever the hell you want to call them, really. This time I'm going to be showing off the OV and OD scanner, as well as the lap pack and bat pack. Uh, well, first of all, the OV and OD. Actually, no, the lap packs are easier. Lap pack and bat pack. The lap pack is an upgraded version of the bat pack, and the bat pack is basically something which holds energy, and when you equip it to your back, it can put that energy into your whatever it may be, a uh, drill. OV scanner, OD scanner, anything that requires electricity, lossless wrench, what, and stuff like that. It basically automatically outputs power to that. Now a lap pack is just the upgraded version, just requires lapis, a, lap, a bat pack and an advanced circuit. It's It carries a lot more power, as you can see, because the OV scanner eats through power. Not sure about the OD scanner, but the OV scanner surely does. Right, so the OD scanner and the OV scanner. There's a major difference between the two. The OV scanner, it does a 9x9x9 radius, well not radius, but cube, and the OD scanner does a 5x5x5 cube. So, let's right click on this giant block of gold ore with um, this OD scanner, it's a bit threatening isn't it? Oh, why is it not detecting anything? Oh dear. Oh, there we go. I guess it's got a really short range or something. It's very much directional, so whatever way you're facing, it'll just scan that specific area. So I guess if I'm looking up, it's just scanning, I don't know, five by five, not including most of that. But yeah, this isn't this isn't full, by the way. Just saying, it'd be a lot more if it was full, because oh yeah, that's what I forgot to put up. These are actually in some kind of order, as you can see here. Don't worry about what's behind me for now. But going from left to right, the ore value is increasing from one for coal, two for each of these. Gold is 3, redstone and lapis are also 3, iron is 4, which I, I don't quite agree with, I think it's a bit odd. Uranium is also 4, so you can tell it's not considering EE's feelings at all. And diamond is 5, so yeah, that's that's about right. Uh, how did you get in there? Well, get back in there. Get the, the, the. Alright, you can piss off. Alright, and so you... Yeah, as you can see, it's detecting a huge area of ore. Whereas with this, I have to get really, really close. 3216. It seems to be random more than anything, but yeah, those are the ore values. But basically, if you scan the area and you get something like... Let's see if I can get a good one from here. 362, that was a good one. 311. Then you want to dig in that area, that 9x9 area where you just right-clicked on. Oh my god, I'm being taken over. Ugh, <sighs> right. But yeah, that's, that's how you use this. Now, things it does not work with. First of all, it does not work with silver. Then it does not work with these, what I'm presuming are... Bah! Piss off! Oh, I'm destroying the exhibit. Bastards. Right. It doesn't work with these, what I'm assuming are red power, copper and tin. It does work with industrial craft for copper and tin. But these have the exact same texture as silver and they won't actually spawn in the world, so don't worry about that. But they won't detect silver, which sucks. Next of all, it won't do any nether... Wait, what? It's detecting something. Maybe it will do nether ore. Okay. It seems to like nether ore. Really? Let's, let's have a look at this. Because I didn't think it would, actually. I did test it, and I didn't get any results, so... There's not going to be any ore in the flatland world, so let's see. This is nether iron ore. Okay, now the iron ore has a value of 2. It's probably being creative. This is redstone, also 2. Does every nether ore have 2? Um, okay. This is nether gold. Okay, every nether ore has a value of 2. I did not know that, but there you go. Learn something new every day. That's not even on the wiki, so you enjoy that one. Right, so Nikolai, also nothing. Gems, none of them work. And tungsten, which really sucks because tungsten's worth two diamonds and is so far unimplemented. Right. <laughs> wow, well, that was um, quite brief, also, actually. Oh, well, let me know if you like these little mini tutorials on just like one or two items from a mod. Oh, yeah, these are from the IC2 mod, by the way. And mm, I think I'll cover one more point. I'll set it to dawn. A miner. It's a pretty, well, it, it's something. But look, see, if you put an OV scanner in the top right corner, 
then the miner can actually dig out a 9 by 9 area below it. So, yeah, let's, why not? Let's try and get this to work. Let's get me a diamond drill. And we need power of some sort. Hmm. It's probably going to explode if I give it anything. Because it doesn't have... Damn it. Alright, let's get me an MFSU. Some high voltage solar panels. And I need a bunch of transformers. One, two, three. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard. Uh, hmm. Right. LV, MV, HV. Right. Oh, HV's not required, actually. I always put on HV without thinking about it, but it's not ever required. Right, so now, theoretically... Fuck off! <laughs> theoretically, fuck off. Right. So there's that. Don't explode. That's not correct. Wait, what? I didn't even explode then. Are you powered? No. Shit. Oh yeah, you need pipes. Forget about that. For some reason, this is the only mining machine that actually needs its own pipes. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, the miner, ladies and gentlemen. Is one of these pointing the wrong way? Actually, <laughs> screw it. Let's grab everything and go to the other one. You. You can do it. You are also not getting power because that's not pointing at you. Uh, you're probably going to blow up though, aren't you? You're going to blow up? Yep, there we go. Right. Uh, attempted to end it on that explosion, but I do kind of want to get this working. So, right, let's actually put effort in now. Three dots is where high voltage goes. Three dots is where high voltage goes. So, I am actually going to have to get a wrench. I can't get away with it this time. Oh, well, I guess this kind of beefs up the video a bit. Also, one thing with noting before you say, nah, I don't like these really short videos. They're a bit of a pain. Uh, but the shorter the video is, the more I can actually do. The more content I can make, as it takes less time to render, less time to, well, do everything, really. Less time to upload. <laughs> That's the main thing. Though. Uploading a 20-minute long video takes a ridiculously long time. Nothing explodes, nothing explodes. Okay, cool. You get a shit ton of power. So let's hook you up to another miner. Miner Mark Three. Come on, beat your. Oh God! Out! 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 What the bulls? All right, fine. Right. So, as you can see, it's digging. To piss off, go. Jeez. I think it's already gone to bedrock, actually. Yeah. It. It did. Oh, such is the pain of a flatland world. Um. Right, you have that. Right, now... It, what the OVs kind of does, it doesn't dig a 9x9 area, but what it does is it allows it to see in a 9x9 area. So, what it what that means is that any ore within a 9x9 area... I'll put the OV scanner in first this time. Ah, right, I should, Why am I making this more difficult for myself? Right, so, they just happen... Oh, oh look, it's doing it, it's doing it. It's totally doing it. I'm not sure where the output is coming from, but look, it's doing it. Right, and you also have to put a chest next to one needs to pick up all the crap. Otherwise, just throw stuff everywhere. I could just shoot one here to creeper. What? Oh, right, nether wall. Yep, has tendency to explode, I don't remember. Anyways, on that bombshell, we shall. <laughs> Goats are fighting. What? Finish him! Come on! Finish him! Wimp. Both of you. Right, anyways, I'm actually going to end the video now. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys. Let me know what you want more of this series. Yeah, that.